Welcome to Little Explorers ABC Edition. What letter will we explore today? Get ready, because here we go! Today we're going to talk about the letter E. Eddie Elephant's Exciting Exiting by Barbara Derubitus. Eddie Elephant loved attending Alphabetty School. Math was not easy for Eddie. Reading was not easy either. But Eddie was very good at telling stories. He could tell stories about elephant emperors and elephant explorers. He could tell stories about fearless elephants and enchanted elephants. Everybody in Eddie's class enjoyed his stories. Alphabetty said that Eddie was a born storyteller. Eddie was also a helpful elephant. After school, he enjoyed helping his neighbors, Elmer and Ernstine Emu. Ernstine was an excellent cook. She even starred in her own TV cooking show. Elmer Emu was an expert gardener. He grew veggies for Ernstine's recipes. Eddie Elephant helped Elmer plant seeds. He helped Elmer pull weeds. And Elmer sent Eddie home with free veggies every day. One day, Elmer seemed very excited when Eddie arrived. Eddie, look, Elmer exclaimed. He pointed at the emu's nest. Wow, said Eddie. What an enormous green egg. Yes, said Elmer. Ernstine laid it this morning before she went to work. Now it's my job to care for the egg. That's what emu daddies do. I will need your help, Eddie, said Elmer. You can be my egg sitter after school while I tend to the garden. You can help me keep the egg nice and warm. But please sit on it very gently. At first, Eddie Elephant did not like the idea of egg sitting. He did not seem very exciting. He preferred planting seeds or pulling weeds. However, he agreed to help Elmer with the egg. It was not easy being an egg sitter. Eddie was small for an elephant, but he was still an elephant. He sat this way, he sat that way, he sat every which way. Nothing seemed exactly right. Finally, Eddie decided to wrap his trunk around the egg. Then Eddie relaxed. He began to entertain the egg by telling stories. Eddie told stories about elephant emperors and elephant explorers. He told stories about fearless elephants and enchanted elephants. Eventually, Eddie became an expert egg sitter. One day, after weeks and weeks of egg sitting, Eddie received a big surprise. As he was telling a story, the egg trembled. Then it began to crack. Eddie felt nervous. He even felt a little scared. He was about to call for Elmer when... The egg cracked open and a baby emu emerged. Eddie was elated. He gently picked up the baby emu. The baby emu exclaimed, Daddy? No, Eddie said. I'm your friend Eddie. Here comes your daddy. Elmer eagerly welcomed his new baby emu. Ernstine will be so pleased, Elmer beamed. Thank you, Eddie. You're an excellent egg sitter. Now, Eddie Elephant speeds home to see the emu family every day after school. Elmer plants seeds and pulls weeds. Ernstine experiments with recipes for her TV show. And Eddie and little e Emma Lou Emu entertain them by telling stories. Emma Lou can tell stories about emu empresses and emu explorers. She can tell stories about fearless emus and enchanted emus. Emma Lou is very good at telling stories. Eddie Elephant says Emma Lou is a born storyteller. You have been listening to Eddie Elephant's Exciting Egg Sitting by Barbara Derubitus. Hi hey guys, it's Rhythm Stick time, so go grab those homemade rhythm sticks so we can get to tap in. Today's song is called Let's All Tap Our Sticks, and I am rocking a pink and orange rhythm stick that we already had here at the library. Are you ready? Let's all tap our sticks today, sticks today, sticks today. Let's all tap our stick today. Let's tap them on our hand. Tap, 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 Let's tap them on our hands. Let's all tap our sticks today, sticks today, sticks today. Let's all tap our sticks today. Let's tap them on our shoulders. Tap, 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 tap. Let's tap them on our shoulders. Let's all tap our sticks today, sticks today, sticks today. Let's all tap our sticks today. Let's tap them on our elbows. Tap, 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 
tap, tap, tap, tap, tap. Let's tap them on our elbows. Great job, guys. My E Sound Bots by Jane Moncure. Little E had a box. I will find things that begin with my E sound, he said. I will put them into my sound box. Little E found eggs. He found lots and lots of eggs. Did he put the eggs into his box? He did. Little E found elves. The elves danced and danced. Did little E put the elves into the box with the eggs? He did. The elves played with the eggs. Be careful, elves, said little E. Now the box was heavy. So little E found an elephant. Hop on, said the elephant. The elephant went up and down. The eggs fell out of the box. The elves fell too. So did little E. That was a bad bump, he said. What a mess, said little E. Now who will help me fill my box? An Eskimo came by. I will help you fill your box, said the, said the Eskimo. I know where we can find lots of eggs, said the Eskimo. Guess who had eggs for little E? Guess who had pretty eggs for everyone? Little E's word list. Egg, elves, elephant, Eskimo. You have been listening to My E Sound Box by Jane Moncure. Okay, guys, this one is called This Is What My Feet Can Do. And I know you can't see my feet, so I'm hoping you'll hear from my words and my body actions what my feet are actually doing. But your feet are going to do the same actions. Do you think you can do it? All right, here we go. This is what my feet can do, my feet can do, my feet can do. This is what my feet can do. Can you do it too? Let your feet go up and down, up and down, up and down. Let your feet go up and down, up and down, up and down. Let your feet go hop, 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 hop. hop. Let your feet go hop, 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 all around the room. Can your feet go tiptoeing, tiptoeing, tiptoeing? Can your feet go tiptoeing all around the room? Can't make your feet go jump, 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 jump. Make your feet go jump, jump, jump all around the room. Now your feet can sit right down, sit right down, sit right down. Now your feet can sit right down. Are you ready for our next story? Here we go. Escargot by Dashka Slaughter. I see you are staring at me. I don't mind. My name is Escargot, and I am such a beautiful French snail that everybody stares at me. Right now I am traveling to the salad at the end of this book. It is a beautiful salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. You should come. I just need a little push to help me start. While, you are while we are traveling, we can talk. Tell me, what do you think is my most beautiful part? My shell, my neck, my tentacles? Oh la la, it is so hard to choose. That is because all of escargot is magnificent. You can kiss me if you want. Let's talk about our favorite animals. Is yours the dog, the cat, the platypus, the wildebeest, the lamar, the hippopotamus, the snail? Wait, before you answer, I must tell you something sad. So sad I might cry. Will you stroke my shell just until I feel better? Okay, now I will tell you the very sad thing. Nobody ever says their favorite animal is the snail. Perhaps you think snails are slimy. Escar, go! You are too slimy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire. The trails I make as I travel to the salad are shimmery trails of, what would you call it? Not slime, more like shimmery trails of shimmery stuff. But enough about me. Do you also make a shimmery trail? What is your favorite kind of salad? You look like the kind of intelligent person who enjoys a salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette and absolutely no carrots. The kind of person who might say my favorite animal is the snail. But perhaps you think snails are shy. Escargot, you are too shy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, I am quite fierce. 
This is the face I make to scare a lion or a wild boar or a carrot that sneaks into my salad. Can you also make a fierce face to scare away the carrot? Maybe we should roar at it too. That was a very fierce face and a very loud roar. Do you want me to come out? Really? Then you must say, come out, Oscar, go! Come out and I promise I will never put a carrot in your salad. Come out and I will kiss you. Here I am. Don't forget my kiss. I kiss you back. Mwah! And I am your favorite animal yet. Perhaps you think snails are slow. Escargot, you are too slow to be my favorite animal. Oh, contraire. I just don't like to hurry. A French snail likes to relax before enjoying salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. But if I wanted to, I could run faster than the cheetah. You don't believe me? I will race you to the salad at the end of the book. Whoever gets there first will be the fantastically fast champion of the world and also your favorite animal. On your mark, get set, go! Do you see how fast I am? I am like the wind itself. I just need to rest for one second. Can you blow on me to cool me off? Whew. Okay, I'm ready now for the final sprint. I win! Oh, you are here too? A tie. We are both the champions. We are both magnificent. Let us celebrate by eating salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. Bon appetit. But this is not the right salad. This salad has a few croutons and a light vinaigrette and carrots. Escargot does not eat carrots. Escargot has never eaten a carrot. Escargot will now make a fierce face at the carrot. The carrot is not running away. Perhaps you would like to eat the carrot. Go ahead, try it. I will make you a deal. If you will try it, I will try it too. On the count of three, we will take a very, very, very small bite of the carrot. One, two, three. The carrot was actually delicious. So delicious that I might have forgotten to share. You probably won't choose me as your favorite animal now. You will choose instead the baboon or the koala or the earwig. But that is okay. Say us lovey. I will tell you a secret. You are very beautiful, even if you don't make a shimmery trail. You are very fast, almost as fast as escargot. And you can make a very fierce face. Don't show me, I remember. You are magnificent. In fact, you are my very favorite animal. And so, I kiss you. You have been listening to Escargot by Dashka Slaughter. Hi guys, thanks for joining me for the Little Explorers ABC edition, letter E. It was our second vowel. We hope you had an exciting, excellent time with us today. Today we started off reading Eddie Elephant's Exciting Egg Sitting by Barbara Derubitis, published by Kane Press. I love how Eddie has persistence and he stays with it. And the ending is so cute when he makes a new friend who likes the same things he does. Sometimes we don't always like the things we're doing, but Eddie had persistence and he kept going and it turned out to have a great ending for him. Next, we read My E Sound Box by Jane Moncure, published by Child's World, where little E went around collecting things for his E Sound Box. Do you have anything in your house that might start with the letter E? I actually just got an eggplant from a garden recently. Maybe you have one in yours too. And lastly, we read the book Escargo by Dashka Slaughter, published by Farrer Strashkaro. In this book, I just love Escargo. He has such a cute attitude, and I love that he's surprised at the end when he likes something different. Uh, I like the interactiveness of this book, and it just makes me smile. I hope it made you smile, too. Lastly, we are going to look at how to write the capital letter E and the lowercase letter E. Are you ready? So the capital letter E, it's a big line down a big line across, a big line at the top, and a little smaller one in the middle. And then the little letter E is kind of like a circle with a piece missing. So we're gonna start by going straight across, up and around it and down and stop. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for the Little Explorers ABC edition today. Today we talked about our second vowel, the letter E. I'm gonna color mine in with a red marker today if you're following along at home with a letter map. Feel free to choose any color you like to color in that E. 
as we work towards filling in all our alphabet letters. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.